It's lunchtime. We are enjoying the heat from the fire after a very cold morning. Right now we have all the lumber over there ready for our entryway to our trailer. It's 16 by 12. 12 by 16. Awesome. Hey, TJ with Back to Nature Living. Uh, we have not had a um, video out for a while now. We have been very busy. But we were tired of waking up with 34 degrees temperature in the trailer, so we had to change some of our plans again. So right now we are building our, I am building with my wife's help, building an entryway to the trailer. And it totally looks like a construction zone in the mud. This is a 12 by 16 uh, subfloor. So I thought I should, uh, yeah, and these are my tools. I even have my table saw. It's a little bit rusty on the top because we had it in a shed that it had some water drip through there. Because that's our life in a nutshell. We never have time to do the all the projects finished that we work on. So we had tarp on top and it blew off and some rain came in. So on the table saw and on the the joiner. Anyway, so I thought I should show you because I looked on the internet and I kind of knew about this method or I don't know this if this is what a professional would do but some people when they have like a subfloor like this they just put some sort of thin insulation. Uh, I forgot what it is called. You get them in like four by hundred feet roll and you just roll it uh, up here and just staple it on top here that's it so they say on the on the internet that um, they can give up to r20 i think it is like uh, a factor oh uh, there's sadie she needs to protect her food you stay away from my food she's very food protective she's not mean though but she's very protective Except for this little guy, because he actually slept in the kennel with her the other day. He's uh, he's such uh, he thinks he is a human, <laughs> Presley. Anyway, back to the subfloor. So what I did here, I actually nested some. I has a one by twos that I split in half on my table saw with my wife's help on the other end. So I just put that on. Uh, nailed it here, a few nails on each, on each side here, and I have done that on all of them. I have oh, 44 inches left on all sides uh, on the other end. But anyway, the thought is that I will have my, I'm going to have some always B board actually, just laying on top here, and because the only weight that will be on top of it is uh R19 uh, insulation. That's what we are going to do. So I'm just going to cut a lot of strips of always B and just uh, put them inside each of them. It's kind of like a floor just to hold the uh, insulation in place. And I see some people that have uh, like netting under each of them, but uh, first of all we could technically put netting on top here now uh, and then turn the whole thing around with my excavator but I have this feeling that it will be totally skewed and messed up so I don't want to do that. So I, was, I think I remember my grandfather which was a carpenter, I don't know what you call it, he built houses at least. Um, so I don't know if that is carpenter or not, contractor maybe. So, so I'm going to put that on top here and then put insulation on top and then just flooring because the insulation has like a moist barrier on, on top on the back side. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will show you what it looks like in a bit. 
when I get the flooring on, or actually, maybe I will show you when I get the um, little floor thing in here for each of them. And my Eskimo wifey. She's uh, very cool for women, I guess. Oh, well, I have some layers on myself, but my wife likes to go warm and she's an awesome worker. She is getting dirt. Actually, some dry dirt that we have over there. It's amazing in this mud hole. Anyway, so she is putting um, dirt around the uh, center blocks, or concrete blocks, like in a pyramid type of fashion around them. So that's what she's doing. And while we are working, we have our little two plate stove heating up our soup from yesterday. So it will be a yummy lunch. This is what you look like when you're working a lot of mud. Almost like Donald Duck, <laughs> Donald Duck feet. Well, anyway. This is the way my husband's grandfather used to Thank you, Dakota. Are you not supposed to work? That's not working. Yeah. You go and enjoy the sun. Another slacker over here too. Are you slacker? Oh, I don't care. I'm tired. Plywood is in, and it turned out really good. Actually, what this does, it has two functions. Uh, one, it covers up so that the mice don't come into our insulation from under, and also it stabilizes the uh, floor joists. So it has a dual function. And we have started uh, our insulation here, putting it in. So we are only using the R19 rolls that we had. So and we only have a 2x6 floor, which is plenty good for us. And we have put one, two, three, four, six by six skids under here. So it should be good enough for what we are doing it, using it for. So I'm going to turn the plywood, the, the flooring the other way, I think, this way. So it makes it stronger, I don't know, well, let's see. Anyway, it goes forward. It's a little bit noisy here, I cannot turn off the generator right now. But the flooring is on and it turned out awesome. So now I'm starting on the walls, and my wifey is ready to start making dinner. 